franchise in this morning. First and foremost, we give all praises out of glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racham Fadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel of truth and sincerity, always in charity. And um, the title of this lesson is going to be entitled uh, Measure the Time Diligently. You know, now, when, whenever we, I'm going to just read the scripture, this is second entrance, nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we use that scripture to say what, man? To, to stay upon your watch, like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter. You know, watching um, um, the, the different news medias, you know, um, alternative news medias at that, because this, this, this fuck-ass news media don't tell you nothing. You know, uh, uh, Al Jazeera, RTs, you know, different uh, uh, Dabu 7s, you know, and uh, even uh, uh, AMTV with Christopher Green, you know, these different uh, um, um, outlets, you know, that uh, give you a different insight on what's going on throughout the world, you know, but uh, I'm applying this to the things that's passed already, man. The measuring stick is the scriptures, you know, it says measure thou the time diligently within itself. And that's what our, uh, our forefathers did throughout history, matter of fact. Let me get this scripture real quick. This is uh, the book of uh, Daniel, chapter 9, verse 2. It says, In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. So it said he understood by books, meaning what? He understood uh, by reading the scriptures that these things was coming to pass. So I'm applying this to measure thou the time diligently within itself to go back and, 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 and go through secular history, man, and prove the different things that happened throughout history that lines up biblically, you know, that the Most High spoke on. As it says in the book of Isaiah, what's that, 48 or 46? Uh, I think it's 48. 48, 10. Yeah, the Lord said, I spoke these things before it happened. Isaiah chapter 42 nine. and 9 it says behold the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth I tell you of them so now we can go to Daniel the second chapter and it goes into the head of gold you know which we know that was the the, the reign of uh, Babylon with Nebuchadnezzar and you can go into secular history and you can know that those things actually happen man that that the, uh, that Nebuchadnezzar actually reigned you know that his son, um, uh, fuck, I forgot his son's name. Darius? No, 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 Darius is, um, is oh, no, a Persian. Uh, fuck, I forgot his son's name, but his grandson is written in scriptures, which is uh, Belshazzar, you know? And how he was taken down by Darius the Mede. And then uh, the, the, the chest of silver, which is the Medio Persian Empire, you know? And Daniel, uh, the, the seven chapters goes into it. How, how, how it looked like a bear and how it rose up on uh, on one side, you know? So these things can be proven through secular history, man. And these things boost your faith, you know, by going into the scriptures and seeing that these things actually took place. So why wouldn't the Lord confirm his words that he's spoken to us in these times today, man? So that'll boost your faith, man. That'll, that, that, that'll boost your morale, so to speak, in order to go hard for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. We can read Daniel the eighth chapter, man, and how the uh, that, that that goat took down the ram with the two horns, man, which one horn was bigger than the other. That's synonymous with the bear rising up on one side, man. That ram represented the Medio Persian Empire, and the Persians coming up higher. The Persian being the bigger horn, or the bear raising up on one side was the uh, the Persians rising up in power, man. Starting with Cyrus, you see. These all things can be proven in secular history, man, and these things boost our faith. Because that give us confidence that the Lord's word would not come back void as it is written in Isaiah the 55th chapter. He spoke these, he's, those, those things came to pass, so why wouldn't these things come to pass in today's time? This is Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, man. The times we living in is, 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 is biblical times, man. 
going back to Daniel the second chapter after the uh, the breast of silver, which is the Medio Persian Empire, then it was the, uh, the, the 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 loins of brass, you know, which was what started with Alexander the Creek. He was that uh that that that, that, that goat with the that goat with the notable horn in Daniel eight that took down the ram, and that can be read in First Maccabees one and one. See, are we got the true history book, man? And you can go back and go to Google and you can go and, 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 and search these things out in secular history that these things actually took place, man. How the Romans uh, pretty much uh, um, uh, um, 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 absorbed the kingdom of the Greeks, man. And that was the legs of iron. And now we're living in the time of um, the toes, which is iron mixed with clay. Which lines up with what, man? Daniel the seventh chapter when it speaks about that little horn that came out, man. Which is America, man. See, we're living in these times. See, when you go through secular history and you prove these things through the scriptures, you can see and you can measure the time today. And knowing that we're in those times that, that, that we read about, man. So we can stand upon our watch and we can uh, the, 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 declare the things that the Holy Spirit is saying unto us, man. You know? This is Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. It says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done yeah and that's the scripture i was thinking of you know declaring the things that have not yet done huh? saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure and that's what it's about man this is all according to the will to the counsel of yahweh basham yahweh shah everything is playing out to the t as it is written that's why in second Ezra the 15th chapter matter of fact i grabbed it Second Edges 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And that's what it's about, man. It's about edifying uh, uh, the, the, the sheep, going out there declaring the things that have not yet done. Like what? That the RFID chip is going to be made mandatory, man. That it is the mark of the beast. It's going to be forced upon all the world, man, as it is written in the book of Revelation, the third chapter. The hour of temptation will come upon this place, man. You know, and whoever can send unto it, man, hey, you're gonna you you're gonna be backstroking, you're gonna have your part in the lake that burneth with fire, man. These are things that we're supposed to be proclaiming when we go out throughout history, the things that the Lord told Isaiah to speak, what did he he spoke on it, man. He spoke on how uh you know Babylon would come in, you know, and, and take down Israel. Same thing as Jeremiah, you know, and a lot of those things were were, were speaking on the times of today. See, when they was prophesying back then, they thought it was talking about the Babylon during that time. But a lot of those prophecies were speaking about the uh, the Babylon we living in right now, man, which is America. You know? The things that uh, um, 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 Obadiah prophesied against, man. Now, he said that uh, uh, the thieves came, in, came, came into and, and Esau was confederate with him. He prophesied of what, man? The, uh, the, the ransacking of the temple, man. He prophesied that the Babylonians would come in and take uh, all our goodly things out of the temple and that they would burn it down, you know? Same thing that uh, Isaiah told Hezekiah when Hezekiah allowed those Babylonians to come in and he showed them all that he had. See, these are things that happen throughout history, man, that the Lord spoke on it before it actually happened. And these things boost our faith, man. These things give us more confidence, you know? And it should, it should make us go harder in the spirit, you know? God, because in the book of Amos, the third chapter, the sixth verse, it says that um, that the Lord showed the secrets unto his servants, the prophets, all right? And that uh, before, he'll do, or before he'll do anything, pretty much he'll, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll reveal his secrets to his servants. And that's what he has done. Before he just completely wipes out America, he revealed his secrets unto us. All right? He gave us the understanding of the prophecies. And it's our duty to what? To warn the people. All right, just like in the ancient days, we're blowing the trumpet, letting them know that evil and only evil behold is come. All right, and soon this place is going to go down, just like Daniel. Daniel prophesied the uh, uh, the downfall of ancient Babylon, man, and and and, 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 it, and it happened. All right, and we're speaking the we're speaking the words he howled by Shem Yahushai, so we have to have faith that this place is going to go down. That this place is going down. Everything that we're saying, starting with the apostles and the elders, is happening. The dollar is collapsing. It's on a precipitous decline, and we go into the uh, we go into the um, how the the grinding shall cease, the doors shall be shut. Roughly paraphrasing, there shall be no work for Egypt, and we see that going on, man. They have something called the uh, retail apocalypse, man. All these different stores shutting down, okay, 
all these different hurricanes. That's part of the Lord visiting visiting this place in the book of um, Isaiah. I believe it's 29 and 6. All right, it says that the Lord will visit this place with tempest, with storm, with fire. All right. It talks about the race riots. We see racial tension uh, uh, increasing. The wars and rumors of wars in Matthew's the um, 24th chapter. All these things must be declared before the Lord acts upon them, man. So we have to continue to be in the spirit of prophecy. Because the spirit of prophecy is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, as it says in the book of Revelations, the 19th chapter. It says that uh, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's why you see, you don't see fucking vocab Monty Cone go, going, into, uh, going into prophecy. Because he doesn't have the spirit of the Lord upon him. All right? And a lot of these other groups, they'll tell you that you're Israelite. They tell the woman to cuss the woman out for not having uh, a dress on, all right? Or they'll cuss the Jake out for not having fringes on. But they won't go into them prophecies, man, of what's soon to come, all right? Because the spirit of the Lord is upon them. Hey, if you're saying that the mark of the beast isn't the microchip, then you don't have the spirit of prophecy, man. Which means the spirit of you, you don't have the testimony of the Lord, man. All right? Our whole thing in these last days, the biggest thing is to what? Push the word of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shah. Give the, as it says in Joel, sound the alarm. Give the give his people warning, which is that second entrance 15. All right? Where it says what? It says, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put into your mouth. All right? The Lord put these words into our mouth. And like the brother read Isaiah 55, hey, those words ain't going to come back void. Meaning everything that we speak in through the spirit of Pah Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is going to prosper quickly and speedily, man. All right? This is Luke 21 and 28. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, man. So that's saying what? And when these things come to pass, that means what? You're looking, man. You know? That means you've been attentive of the things that's taking place throughout the world. Why? Because you're because you're focused on you giving attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine, man. You're standing upon your watch, as it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter, waiting to see what the Lord will say unto you. You know, the Lord said, what I tell you in secret, that's what you proclaim upon the hot stops, man. A lot of times we meditate in the spirit, man, and the Holy Spirit talk to us and be like, hey, that's a good idea for a lesson, man. Give us the precepts, you know, bring an article. Or have us watch a brother's video Or have us watch uh, uh, RT News So forth and so on, man that's, the, that's, how, that's how we get fed Through the Holy Spirit, man It says, verse 29 And he spake to them a parable Behold the fig trees and all the trees When they, when they now shoot forth Ye see and know of your own selves That summer is now nigh at hand So likewise ye when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of the Most High is nigh at hand, man. So what did the Lord tell the, uh, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees? He said, ye hypocrites, man, you can discern the sky. You know when harvest time, you, you, you can look at and see when it's about to rain or it's gonna be a sunny day. Or you can look and see all, oh, look, the, the, uh, the, 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 the flowers are budding, you know? You can discern the, the season and time that you went. But you can't discern the season and time that we in according to the prophecies, man. Well, it go for us brothers in this faith as well. Now it's not the time to be sitting and settled on our leaves, man. And when you go into that word leaves, it goes back into the uh, the uh, um, uh, uh, the Hebrew word, which means congealed. Matter of fact, let me get it, man. Don't, don't just speak on it. See, these are the things that helps us uh, forward our faith, man. By going and proving that these things actually happen, you know. Not only do we, uh, like, like it says in Acts 17 about the church of Berea, you know, when Paul was speaking those things, they went to the scriptures to see if those things were so. But also, what man? In secular history, man, you will come across an article, you will come across something that speaks about Alexander the Crete, it speaks about Nebuchadnezzar, or it speaks about a certain pharaoh, you know. Search those scriptures, man, because a lot of those things are written within there, you know. It's Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in the heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Now that Hebrew word for leaves is a uh, Shema, which goes into uh, uh, leaves or dregs, right? And it says something preserved that is uh, settlings of wine or dregs, man. So something that's settled, that's uh, uh, congealed. Um, stagnant. stagnant water, yep, it surely is stagnant. 
you what, you're not pushing anything, man. And the men that are settled on their lease, man, you go to their page and there's no content, man. All right? Ain't did nothing, nothing for you. How about something? But got the nerve to comment on, on on your video, talking shit, or telling you how to do something, man. But you go on their page and, and there's there's no edification. There's no warning to fly. That shows you that they're not a part of the the, the uh, uh they're, that they're that they're not uh, the Lord's men. That the spirit of the Lord is not upon them, because the scriptures say, "He that believeth on me, as the scriptures say, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water." All right, the rivers of living water is meaning is meaning what? You, you, you're edifying the Lord's flock, all right? This is our profession. This is our job. This is our duty. Paul said, warn to me if I preach not the gospel, all right? So we're required to warn the Lord's flock, all right? And it says in the book of Jeremiah 28, chapter in the 8th verse, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and uh, uh, great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. It's the same today, prophesying the evil that's to come to this place. Alright, and it's gonna come quickly and speedily. It's gonna hit these, it's gonna catch these people as a thief in the night, man. Alright, in their security, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them, man. Everybody caught up into the ways of this world, but meanwhile, uh, and they making their own plans 10 years down the line, five years down the line. Alright, and the Lord is fixing to destroy this damn place, man. Uh, no, no, not, not the word leaves, but settled. the word settle. Uh -huh. The word settled is the Hebrew word uh, kwa pa'a, which means to thicken, condense, or congeal. And that's what happened. When you look at wine, what happens is the uh, the, the leaves is the sediment that settles at the uh, 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 at the bottom of it, man. You know? So it becomes, uh, what? Uh, I looked it up. Now, this is um, Lee's definition in uh, Etymon Online. It says, dregs, sediment of wine, or any liquor. Plural of lie, drag sediment, which means to lie down or lay, man. And then I went to the regular um, Google definition of it. And it says, the sediment of wine in the barrel, the most worthless part or parts of something, man. So if you compare it to what those leaves, man, if you settle and congeal, it's the most worthless part, man. The scripture says, he that believeth on me as the scripture hath said. It says, the brother quoted the scripture, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So going into the totality of it, man. In the book of 1 Peter, uh, the first chapter, it says what? That the prophets of old had the spirit of Yahweh Shai within them. So going into all those things in secular history, man, of course, through the scriptures, of course. Through the scriptures, because the scriptures is, 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 is the filter, man. Through the scriptures, man. And that's what, what, like like I said, that's what boosts and, and, and increases our faith, man. Knowing that these things took place throughout history, so why wouldn't it take place today? Right. Not being settled on your leaves, man. Not being congealed and stagnant. But what? Continually having that water flowing, you know? It's just like that Isaiah said, the former things that have come to pass and new things do I declare. All the former things in history was prophesied about, all right? How much more the things that we're speaking of now, the downfall of this society, the coming, the, the, the salvation that's going to come to the elect, to the chosen of the nation of Israel, the kingdom being established upon the earth. Hey, hey the curses damn sure came to pass. I believe it's a scripture in uh, Lamentations. All right. These, these, the, the Lord had performed his work, which he said in, in the times of old, talking about what the punishment that he would put upon us All right, uh, 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 for disobeying his covenant. But how much more uh, 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 the mercies, yeah, the blessings that he that he's promised to give to us, man. Uh, hey, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh, 15 and on down, the autumn curses came upon us like a motherfucker, pursuing us like a motherfucker, man. But how about the blessings in the beginning of the chapter, man? Those things are also going to come to pass. And this is the, this is the uh, patience and the faith of the saints that are up. This is our hope, man. This is our belief that we're not going to be in this shithole forever. And that the Lord, this is the gospel, man. That the Lord is going to destroy this damn devil. And that he's going to raise us up out of this dunghill, man. It's been prophesied about, all right? That all of our enemies shall, shall serve us. That we shall lend and not borrow, man. They going they we gonna be the head and, the, and everybody else is gonna be the tail. Meaning we gonna be on top and they gonna be at, at the bottom, man. All right? That Israel shall dwell alone, shall dwell without care. That this is our last captivity and we shall no more be carried away in the captivity. That's a part of the prophecies, man. That's soon to come to pass. That's going to take place. Those are the promises. And the Lord said that He's not a man that He shall not lie and that He's not slack concerning His promises. Yes, yeah, the scripture in Jeremiah. 
that says, uh, as, as as the Lord, as, as as was in the Lord's mind to do all this evil, so it is in his mind to do all this good. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. I know it's in Jeremiah, you know. But um, Lord willing, this was edifying, man. You know, just a quick little in transit, man, to, uh, to boost up the faith, man. To get into the scriptures, man, more and more, man. Of the things that's past, of the things to come, of etiquette, man. Of how you conduct yourself, of thoughts, so forth and so on. So with that, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechach, Hodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all your brothers preaching the gospel of truth and sincerity, always in charity. Hey, Shalom. Stay strong. Shalom.